Hi guys, I'm going to get started in a few momentos. Just going to wait for people to get here, get in. Let's Let me see. All right. Hi, guys. So tonight I have um one second i'm trying to check my ig while i'm talking to you guys okay so tonight i'm supposed to be joined by um kamisha reviews she is a blogger who um recaps our show and recaps some of the other shows i also would love for you guys to come on if anyone wants to, Winter no longer wants to do um, recaps and understandably because it does get a little draining because you guys really only get to see like, I can't even say half of what really was going on, about 40% of what was really happening, really going on like at the time of filming. So if you guys have any questions, any comments, I would love to hear them. Um, we could just talk about tonight's episode. Hey, we got Norfolk here. Yes, let me know where you guys are from. Norfolk. I am. No, so there has been, uh, well, we can, well, we can get to that. You guys are missing about, so tonight's episode picks back up in January. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm lying. In March. So you guys saw us painting at my house and actually I did take video that day. So that was... If you guys can see, March 2nd, 2023. So over a month ago, I mean, over a year ago, and the trip that you guys saw us on last week was our Valentine's Day trip, which was, I think we were there from like the 12th to the 15th of February, 2023. So two and a half weeks are missing of filming. Um, during those two and a half weeks, what was happening, we were all still filming. Um, on my end, I know Black and I had went to visit um, Coolidge High School in D.C. It's a school that I call like my adopted high school in D.C. that I have mentored at for the past maybe 11. No, Ashton's 11. So before I even had a lot Ashton, so at least the past 12 years. Um, we did a prom giveaway that was filmed for the school. We had to jump through hoops to actually even film at the school because you know, that's a lie. And to have kids on camera, we met with the principal. One of my girl, good girlfriends is a teacher over there. Um, and um, I'm going to answer some questions in a second. Uh, so anyway, we did a prom giveaway, which it was very near and dear to my heart. I try to do prom giveaways every year, um, but I hadn't done one since COVID. And then Black brought in another um, a school that was an alternative school. They don't get prom. So we wanted to, he like suggested we do like a dinner for them. So we had a big event um, that you guys won't get to see. Unfortunately, there was no drama. Most of the castmates were there besides one couple because they often decided not to film when other people were there, but neither here nor there. Okay. We got Florida, Michigan, Waldorf, Maryland, which is the landline far away, even though I live in Maryland. Baltimore is here. Hey, be more. Yes. This, so here you like this hairstyle. Thank you. This is such an easy hairstyle for me. It's very get up and go with very, it's very low maintenance. So this is one of my favorite hairstyles too. Oxen Hill, Alexandria, Mississippi, M-I-S-S-I. -S -S -I. So yes. Um. So what all was happening on tonight's episode? I thought it was a really good episode. Um, you know, it starts out with, I think, me, the girls coming over, and we were doing like a painting um, exercise. It's something that I kind of self-taught myself. 
and during the pandemic. And I do a lot of it. I have some paintings up, not down here, but I have a lot of my paintings up upstairs. I've actually even sold some of my paintings for good money. So um, I've thought about doing it again, but it is very time consuming. So I gave the girls like, um, you know, like a little brief lesson on that. So I'm going to come in here and start doing, yes, I love that scene. And I wish that you guys would have saw more scenes like that because we did have more fun scenes, even at the trip, the, um, cash trip that you guys saw, I posted like a, a few of the videos that I had done myself. Um, Ashton's down here being nosy. I had did, um, we had, I posted like some of the videos from behind the scenes because we did have a good time. And for everybody who stayed in the house, um, it does not really reflect that on TV <laughs> at all. So I can't really, I don't know. Um, what else? Yes, I am always wearing fashion Ashton earrings on every scene on the show. My confessional is now. I'm always wearing fashion Ashton scene. Mm -hmm. Scene. Earring. Oh, here's the boss. <laughs> the boss fashion Ashton is in the building. And I also at on that scene, I talk about, you know, my relationship with my mom growing up. And then I talk about my relationship with my daughter, who I am absolutely obsessed with. You don't have to be on the camera if you want to. Um but I think some people have gotten it a little misconstrued that I don't have any relationship with my mom. And that's just not true. My teenage years were difficult into my 20s. Um, and it has been something that I feel like did shape me to be the mom that I am. I'm a super present mom. I'm a super all over my kids moms. Uh, Ashton, how often do I tell you I love you? Every day, every, day every, hour. every hour, exactly. So I feel like I kind of overcompensate in that department with them because it is something that I did feel like I kind of lacked out on when I was younger, especially during those teenage years when you kind of need your your mom and your parents the most. And I talk a lot about it in my book, Do That Shit, which I talked about tonight. I was doing, I was recording my first draft of my audio book. Then it is out now on all like um, podcast platforms absolutely for free. Yes. The website is, I'm putting it down in the comment box right now. Ashley, I should have you doing this. Since you want to be down here minding my business, you should be putting in some work. Yes. The site is fashionashton.com. And I always say it's Ashton's business because she is 49% owner. I am 51% owner because I was trying to set her up. Winter is actually texting me right now. Um, I'm trying to I'm trying to set Ashton up, you know, to make sure she got her own money, doing her own thing because Ashton loves fashion. Ashton loves accessories, and I love earrings. Look at this; she actually makes these guys. You made these? Okay, okay, you can. Okay, she's a Ashton's a bracelet girl. I'm an earring girl, so we're going to start like adding some of Ashton's personal collection in that she makes herself. She makes stuff for like her and her girlfriends. And I love that part about her. Ashton also wants to work for NASA. So that's that's my my my, my baby. My <laughs> baby right there. Okay, bye. You on my face. How am on your face? You, you down here. Face. Uh so I'm gonna scroll back up because I saw some comments. Um, did you live with did you let did your sister live with you when your mom left and she was like 24 and had two kids? Have you read my book? Because that's exactly what it says in my book. My sister moved back and I lived by myself for about eight months. And then my sister moved in. Um, she was about 23, 24, I think. And yes, she has my nieces who are now, it's so crazy. My nieces are now 20, almost 29 and 23. So yes. All right, let me see. It was. That was a really good time with the ladies. Fun fact, this that scene with the ladies and the scene with me and Joy were the same exact day. So if you notice, I have the same outfit on. I just put a jacket on because I didn't feel like changing my clothes. Um, I didn't know how the conversation was going to go, but, you know. So I just, I feel like we kind of got a lot. I felt like it was a good scene. Um, when I started this, I went in telling my production producers about, you know, my struggles with mental health and how important it is. We talked about it a lot at the beginning of season two. For us, 
for you guys, this is season three. For us, it's still season two because we filmed straight through with just a break for the holidays. Um, but it's presented as season three. So I see a lot of comments that say, like, why y'all still talking about this? Because it was like a month span had passed and nothing had really gotten resolved or talking about. Yes. Remember, guys, I was doing my paintings. I was doing coasters. I was doing trays. That really got me through, like, the pandemic. I feel like you should always, like, be learning. And I love that. Um, was it hard? I guess this is about my mom. Was it hard for her to come on camera discussing in the next episode? So again, um, that the episode with my mother, the first episode that you guys see when we when I went to my childhood home, when we we're both at my childhood home, um, it aired late January. I want to. It was right after my mom's birthday. My mother's birthday is January 29th. So I want to say whatever that Saturday was, like the 30th or the 31st. Um, and my mom just completely stopped talking to me. She was, mind you, that scene had been filmed a whole nother year before it had even been aired. The, we were together on her birthday that Saturday. She shut me out, wasn't talking to me. And it was super hurtful because it wasn't the first time me and my mom have had this conversation. Um, but like I said on tonight's episode, it was now that the public got to see it. And I don't shy away from hard discussions with anyone. Um what you guys also didn't get to see is my grandfather, who was 95, he had passed on my mom's birthday, but he was my father's father. Um, and I was dealing with that and dealing with my dad, who I did want to film, but me and my, fa my father was even less a part of my life. And my father's exact words to my producer on the show is, I don't want to do this show because I left Ashley when she was three. So that. So when the basketball game came, um, if you got, guys watched our recap when Carlos was on, I was very adamant that I did not want to have the petties at the game. That was a shit of a week. And the last thing I wanted was to be surrounded by people who don't like me. Some people don't like me, whatever you guys see on TV, whatever's been filmed, portrayed, whatever. Off camera, people are very different. Some people didn't like me. I didn't want them at the game. Quick didn't want them at the game. Quick was trying to be a team player and say, okay, I'll invite them. But I also told production for an hour and a half, I did not want them there. Carlos, let y'all know, on there, <laughs> what our producer just texted me and said, your daddy was playing with me. Exactly. My father. Oh, my father. Anywho, uh, Carlos said on our live that he wanted them there and he made the decision. I did not want them people there. But anyway, fast forward, I'm trying to get to some more comments. I love you. And I too have the same issues with my mom. It's so hard to trust people. And I appreciate you for being vulnerable. I appreciate that. Um, you know, I have a up and down when it comes to trust. I either don't trust at all or I trust too fast. And I'm a contrary to what's portrayed on the show. I am a fast forgiver. Um, we'll get to that later because I don't think it's shown when Shirella tells me like, girl, you always forgiving people. And I do. Let's see. Do you feel, oh, wait, let me put this up so you guys can see it. Do you feel that you move love you did not say? I don't really understand this. Can you write that again? Can you write that one again? I really want you all to continue LMADC. It's gotten dark. Um, again, I feel like there were great things that were filmed. We don't control what's shown, but a lot has happened with this cast um, since we filmed. And the majority of it, child, like you guys don't see everything. I do. I pay attention, very close attention to every single thing. We, as you see, there's no Ashley Silva, I mean, no Silva's and Tyler's issue on the show beyond me just feeling like they keep inserting themselves in something that has nothing to do with them, which has continued on until present day. Inserting yourself in shit that has nothing to do with you. Um, let's see. You have a... Exactly. But being a team player and wanting the show to work and be successful, they were allowed. And what wasn't discussed is that I had saw that couple multiple times 
Joy didn't speak to me. We had a photo shoot that I put together. I've said all of this before. She didn't speak to me. She decided to text me the day we returned to filming. That shit is phony. Y'all can see it or not see it. I clearly saw the phony shit. Um, I mean, there's more, but whatever, child, with them. Let's see. Wait. Oh, no, I didn't mean to start. I started something by mistake. This is not... I, I tell you every single week, this is not my thing, these comments. So um, I'm just trying to think what else really was on the show. Like I'm trying to remember again, like I said, it's a year and a half, well, not a year and a half, a year and a few weeks removed from this when we um, filmed this. So I don't really feel like there's much to, to talk about. I do. I, I would have loved if the bl the blacks. Now y'all got me calling them the blacks because people keep saying it in our comments. If Sharella and Black, if you guys would have gotten to see a little more of them because they were an intricate part of this story and why things have played out the way that they are. But unfortunately, there are three main couples. The new couple constantly did not want to film with them. Um. There, I'm sure there are people in DC who would love to be cast on the show. What do you think about people saying you wear your, the pants in your marriage? I think it's hilarious. I mean, I do have a strong personality, and that's not going to change for a husband or this. Sorry, my I, I can't relate to some of the women who husbands may feel like they molded them and built them and all of that stuff like that's not true but let's be clear quick, quick is the man of this house and i think that 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 more so bothers people than not we're going to rock for each other always quick and i are always going to stand 10 toes down for each other other people have not done that on this cast for their spouses and the people that they're you know so hardly riding for like you write more for people you met a month before filming than you have your own spouse in your own family on, on some of these cast members. So I don't like that shit don't bother me. Quick wears the pants, pays the bills, child. I just gotta cook clean and look cute. So uh I mean you really protected your authenticity, so you can't go on a marriage show pretending not to be married, make it make sense. You said it. Um, if you watched our live last week, we had Sharala on, and Sharala does not want any parts of this show, and it's understandable. Um, just like at you guys' job, shit happens that you don't like, and you can either comment on it or you can stay quiet, and people are going to, you know, feel how they're going to feel. I don't know what Carlos is saying. Oh, that's great. Him and Dustin are on live discussing it because I don't think he's been on live discussing our show at all this season. Um, what else? About, I, I, I appreciated the scene with uh, Jamie going to the, the doctor, his, the police doctor. I think that that's, a, that's great. Um, earlier in the first half of the season or season two or whatever you want to call it, I remember saying like in my confessionals that I think that there are deeper issues with him and his son were like having problems. And what I meant by that, and I'm sure I explained it, but you guys get caught up, um, is that being a police, I couldn't imagine like that shit is hard and I'm sure you bring that shit home. And until you realize that so, a lot of times you don't realize it. That's with any job. You could just have a bad day being a fucking waitress at McDonald's and you could take that shit home. So I thought that was a great scene. Yeah, people, I mean, let's be real. People say, oh, quick, short, he is. We, like, he's the height that he is, child. And that don't got nothing to do with being a man. Just because you're over six feet don't make you more manly. Trust me. Um, uh, 
Um, I'm not sure how they got to do that <laughs> because there were many a times, like I said, when I was going through my shit with my grandfather, I was begging and pleading, like, give me a week, give me a day. I, I literally was like, give me a day where I don't got to film with these people. And that wasn't respected. Um, also, while we're filming, we're not supposed to like go out of town and all of these things because we have a contract saying through this date, through this date, we will be readily available to film. That was not, they got to do whatever they wanted to do, child. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Oh my God, not yet. whole family of bosses. What? Oh my, oh, I'm about to say Bruno not down here. He is. Bruh, bruh. Bruh, bruh, the people want to see you. Come here. Come here. Come here. See, Bruno is always right here. It's so crazy. Someone did contact me about doing something for Bruno. And it's like, child, I got to manage DJ Sauce Guy. I'm running Fashion Astrid. Now I got to manage Bruno too. But, you know, according to my cast, I sit around and do nothing all day. But have three. Because Bruno's included successful children. Um... I don't think Quick would ever want to do another reality TV show, honestly. And I would not want to do a show with people who are not honest. And this cast has been full of liars. And that has been insane. No other, so this one, no other couple would ever make me um, leave a show at all. Not another couple, not another person. There have been things I've discussed it with the top to the bottom from cast to production to EP to everybody is very well aware of how I feel about the show and this, um, the trajectory that this season took. And I said last week what I felt about it. And I said while we were filming how I felt about it and everything I felt and said has come to fruition. Um... We do not have new contracts. We have not gotten, we haven't signed anything since we signed on for season two, but you guys are watching season three. Bruno, they said you're my favorite child. You know why? Because Bruno don't talk back. Y'all saw Ashley out here talking crazy to me. He'll talk back. So I am really bad when it comes to content, like Instagram and all of that. I just, so the other day I was down here, I told you guys, um, if you follow me or anything, I'm working on like a screenplay right now. And I write all day, constantly. Angela, who is my fourth child, she was like, you should start recording this and like seeing people, letting people see what you do all day. And I'm just like, I don't really have the energy to set up a camera. It'd be like, oh, look at how hard I work. I feel like I want to start documenting some stuff, but then I feel like a shit like that is like a little pretentious. I don't got to prove to not a soul what I'm doing all day long. And some days I'm not doing nothing. Very true. I mean, let's be honest. Most people who come on reality TV shows do it because they want to be famous. Some do. Um, I came on a reality TV because, and the honest to God truth is, because I, I love men Quick's relationship. I think we have one of the best relationships I've ever seen. We, what was it, June? We'll be celebrating our 15th anniversary on June 1st. Um, it is difficult being married to a DJ who is constantly busy with events and parties and radio and appearances and all these other things. But I went to school for broadcasting. I am a writer. I have had podcasts. I've done all these things. I've been in acting classes and acting school and now with screenwriting. So I did feel like this would put me into a better posi position to, you know, start navigating that side of the things that I wanted to do. Bruno, they said your fan favorite, Bruno. Bruno is in almost every scene I'm in. Even tonight, the scene that when we're in the kitchen, he's like right under my feet. I don't think that they really um, show him that much, but he's like right under my feet. Yes. Thank you. So yes, in what is what is this? March, April, May, June. Three months, fifteen years. Yeah, I mean, Quick and I, we, you know, we even I remember there was one scene where we were like arguing, 
And I think this was, again, about like me waking Antonio up to go to school, which I have stopped doing for a while because everybody was getting on my case about, oh, don't, don't get up. Go let him get up. Yeah. And then his ass was late like three times in one week. And I was like, let me get my ass up and get my son to school. And I don't give a fuck what y'all think. Nobody else. My son getting to school on time. But we were having, we had a scene and we were um, arguing about that. And then, you know, towards the end of the argument, I was like, shut up and give me a kiss. And we ended it. And I remember like our production being like, this is how y'all end your arguments. And it's like, yeah, 90% of them are ended this way. Or I storm off. <laughs> yeah, I mean, people, you know, there are people who I think social media has gotten so used to everyone did, you know, recording every single piece of their life and everything that they do. It's like, I, I mean, you don't have to do that. And before I did feel like, oh my God, I really need to show people what I'm doing all the time. And now I'm just like, no, I don't care enough. I don't care enough. Yeah, I could hire someone. I've hired videographers before, but I'm not about to spend two, three thousand dollars for somebody just to be sitting in my face watching me write all day. Like, that's wild. I do want to have Richie on. For a live recap so richie i'm going to be reaching out to you soon um i think that it would have been a great show with um the silvers the tylers winter and the duncans um the duncans i've known well i've known shirella for 13 14 years and I think I am a very honest and transparent person, but Shirella is definitely the, like the epitome of like, she gonna say how she got what she feel about you, about her, about me, about everybody. And I genuinely respect that. Did we ever do marriage counseling? No, we still have not done marriage counseling at all. I feel like I have to be the counselor for both of us. So I go to therapy. And then I got to bring that back to quick. And I therapy, I about to say I therapize. <laughs> I talked to us on, on those, but no, we haven't been to therapy yet as a couple. I do feel like it is something that we still need to do. Yes. You can't control edits and still allow the fans into your life. Yeah, I mean... I wish you guys, you know, I think there is a demographic for everyone. And on all of these shows across the board, when you look at like the Kardashians, their demographic is very different from a show like Honey Boo Boo. People that are watching Kardashians aren't watching Honey Boo Boo. Then there's Housewives and Us. We don't have the same demographic. Um, and it's a lot to explain and if you understand demographics and television and where people are placed and where people are watching from in ages, I'm not sure if, I just think our demographic is the 40, maybe even 50 in, in 30 to 50 year olds. Um, we laugh. We have a great time since I've gotten to know winter better. We have, all of us have had a great time together. It's so crazy. Like I'll see winter and like Alicia, like talking and having a conversation, we've all been on like vacation together. And I'd be like, who would have ever fucking thought? And I know like some of the comments and stuff say like, oh, it's fake and things like that. It's not. Trust me, it is not. And I've said it before and on the show, um, we had to have real serious conversations. And there was even a, a huge apology from Winter to Quick and Jamie at the cash trip. Um, that wasn't aired that I felt like should have been. And it may have given you guys a little bit more um, retrospect into how we ended up becoming cool. I do consider like went to a friend now and it wasn't overnight. Like I said, here we are. That scene y'all watching that was filmed 14, 13 months ago. So, you know, it's not something that was overnight. Yes, Shirella is dope. If you guys haven't, because we talked about this while filming, but it wasn't aired, just try to go. I think the hashtag is uh, Forever Duncan. You can follow their love story when Black proposed and planned out their whole wedding in one day. And it was a huge surprise for Shirella. So, yes, go do that. Yes, ciao. It was 
rough first season for me and Winter. And I get the brunt of it. Like, you were so mean to her. Winter was talking mad shit. Yes, I was mean to her. I was I supposed to be nice to somebody who was out here talking about my marriage? Like, no. But again, here we are. A year later after that, she apologized. And now here we are. Oh, shit, it's been three years. So that year, she apologized. I mean, she did what she did. We got through it. She apologizes a year later. Here we are a year later. So, um, have I stayed off of Twitter? I lied last week, guys, when I said I was staying off of Twitter. But I've been doing better. It's so crazy. You know, people are like, you're a mean girl. You're this. You're that. And then they'll follow it up with, I hate you. I've got to hope you die. I, you're your family-ish this and this and this. And then when I respond to the asses, it's, oh, what was them? Please. Um, so this, how I do this hairstyle, maybe I'll do a tutorial. I, maybe that's some of the stuff I'll start doing, like while I'm getting ready or whatever. Um, <clears throat> so I add pieces in and then I wand curl it, but it's not even with a wand curl. It's like these old curlers that I've had for... 20 something years. And I am hoping they never die because I've been looking for them for probably the last 10 years for the exact replica pair because I cannot find another pair that's as good as these. So when it's straight in, so when it's straight, let's see, I take the curlers, I wrap it around the curler for like five seconds, and then my curls come out like this. Yes. <coughs> Jeez, I just started coughing. Thank you for opening up, sharing about your struggles with depression. You know, you guys, know, I mean, some of you who follow me may know, um, I had a website, it was called I'm Super Gorge, that I started in 2011, from 2011 to 2015. Sharla was initially a part of that. She is one of the OG members of Super Gorge. We had an online radio show at the time, which would now be a podcast. And um, we all had different things that we would talk about on the website. So I did... Married Mondays that I talked to, because at the time, you know, we were still in our 20s. And a lot of my friends weren't married or had children. And I changed it to married with children. And I would talk about like the battles that I was dealing with, with depression and all of that, which is a lot of what Shirella was going through on this season. And I thought that that would have been a great um, topic to discuss. And we did discuss it on camera. Unfortunately, you guys don't get to see it. But I've always been very open about it. I think the Black community is way too taboo. And a lot of people don't talk about it until it is too late. So I don't always do my own hair. This is really the only style that I do on myself. This and when it's like bone straight. For some reason, I just did not get to do your hair, Jean. And I have a bunch of hair. Ashton has a bunch of hair. I put on Twitter. See, I was on Twitter earlier. And I was like... God really made me a black woman that couldn't cornrow. Like, I feel like it should be genetically built into us that we can cornrow. And I can't. I do want to answer this one. Um, what is your real problem with Joy? You broke her trust. You don't get to decide when or if someone accepts your apology. You are correct. You don't get to decide when or if someone accepts your apology. But let's pause and back up. When I discuss why... I answered Alicia's question, A, because I'm on a reality show, to be real, to be my honest self. If my best friend asks me right now, were you married because you hashtagged it? Yeah. So I said it on camera. But let's rewind. Alicia's telling me about um, her and Joy's conversation that was had at my house on, I did like a little, a seafood's given, where her and Joy had a conversation and Joy told her that me and Alicia were going to appear fake and phony for being friends with Shirella because Shirella was friends with Winter. How fucking stupid is that? I'm supposed to not be friends with someone of 12 years that I've known who's had my back and that I care for because you don't like them for a reason you still haven't been able to give me. And the real thing was Joy wanted us to ice Shirella out because that was her plan with Arena. I don't owe you anything. So when I said she was married, because she was, 
I knew when I, I saw the look on her face, I knew it bothered her. I knew it hurt her. I apologized immediately. She did not have to accept immediately. However, we are filming a show. I see you again. I'm not just going to ignore you. I apologize again. She did not accept it then. She did not accept my text message. Don't accept it. Then we don't need to be in the same space. Don't come to my house if you don't accept my apology. And I think that a lot of the viewers are just think it was okay for her to come to my house. And now we found out since after filming, Arena knew she was coming to my house. So that was a plot and a ploy. Like, that's not okay. So that's my problem. And then I had a bigger issue. Like I said, you text me while I'm filming, but the day before or two days before, you completely ignored me. I'm not doing reality TV. I'm being real for TV. And there's a difference. Okay, where was the other one? That's not the one I meant to hit cook up on. Let's see. Arena swear, still swears your friendship with Winter is just for show. Wonder if that's because she dislikes Winter and you took the D back. I didn't take the D back. She actually gave the D back. <laughs> um, and this is so funny that Arena is saying this now because actually I was not going to go to Winter's Romancipation. So what you guys are saying now is March 23. Romancipation was in December 22. Um, I wasn't gonna go. So I decided to go. It was just supposed to be me and Arena. But it was supposed to be a lady saying Jamie decided to come. They came and picked me up. They were like, we're going to come get you. You go on. So I was like, all right, I'm going. While we were in the car, this was filmed too. It didn't make the air. Arena was like, we had someone that we knew and that the, the toddlers knew who unexpectedly passed away. And Arena was like, you know, life is too short. We should just try to move on, be cordial with winter, you know, see where it can go. So I was like, you know what, Arena, you are right. Life is too short. So... That's why I'm so confused where this fakeness is coming from. Fast forward to January, I had a ladies night and I've said this before again. I had a ladies night. It was the ladies of the cast minus Joy were invited. Um, some of my other friends, my neighbors, like stuff like that. Arena texted me last minute saying she did not want to come. She didn't want to be around winter. All this other shit that's happening now that has been happening on social media was happening then in real time. And it was not addressed on camera. So this, I don't understand what, why it's fake when you knew we were trying to build a relationship. You were a part of it. You decided not to be. You and Winter had your own shit going on that y'all did or did not discuss on camera and it didn't come up. So I don't know what, like how, I don't know. And she hasn't even been around us, like honestly, ever to say what's fake or not. Like as it pertains to us becoming friends. Ooh, girl, you can sew. I can't sew. And that bothers me. I wish I could sew. Like, I can, like, glue some shit together and I can do my own makeup. Cooking, I got, like, my five meals. They the shit. But other than that, don't ask me to do nothing. But I can say you did apologize multiple times. And you don't have to kiss anybody's ass. I don't. Like, I don't. That's what was my time. I can tell you on Winter Junior with friends, depression is very difficult illness to deal with. It is. And it's even harder to be open about it. And I was always open about it. That's why I, start, I started rambling. That's why I started talking about Super Gorge because I opened up about it on Super Gorge. Um, and then with Fun Time Moms, I've always opened up about it. And it wasn't difficult for me to open up about it on the show. But the fact that so many people have tried to weaponize that against me is why a lot of people don't open up about it. I have been in therapy on and off for 12 years now, 11 years now. Um, and it's not something like everything's just not going to get fixed. And there, we all have our different triggers and we don't get to pick and choose to tell somebody how they feel in a moment or an instance or what triggers them. And I think a lot of the audience tries to do that with me, but doesn't hold anybody else's feet to the fire. And that is very bothersome. And that's why I said, maybe this demographic is not for me. Let's see. Are any of the cast still cool on contact with Tasha and her husband? Oh, wait, I'm not looking up from the first season. Um, I was. Tasha was still invited over. The seafood's given thing that I was telling you guys about um, was. But I just kept, I felt like I was constantly invited. I think she still hangs out with the Tylers, but I haven't saw her in a while. No. 
Oh shit, I just hit the button by mistake. Okay, I think Quick just came in the house. And this is a good one. And that's what we missed on the show, explore more what the other things cast might do. I would love to see you working on Fun Time Moms, for example. So we've recorded an episode. At, did we record a Fun Time Moms episode? I know we were thinking about adding in a third host of Fun Time Moms. We did interviews for that. Um, that was recorded. But again, we don't get to pick and choose, you know, that our legit businesses aren't shown. I've talked about this before. There was a scene filmed at our nightclub in Baltimore. Um, wasn't wasn't aired but we could talk about people who sell their beard oils through dm weird um let's see did anyone did anybody feel like a co-conspirator in Secret Marriage since production colors were never told lies and made it deceitful? Do y'all feel deceived by them? Um, I think you guys should feel deceived by them. Wanting a, you know, that's why you never hear me speaking on their marriage. And I think it's even weirder that there were scenes when, with two people who knew that they were married are talking about, do you want to get married or not? That's that's just lying. That's that has nothing to do with wanting a wedding. A wedding and a marriage are totally different. I have a marriage. I had a small wedding. I had a big wedding. And that part. Oh no, that wasn't quick. That was Angela. Yeah, if you don't like me, don't come to my house. I agree with that. Huh? This ain't my business, child. I ain't telling nobody else's business. Um, no, I don't think so. Um, I think that her, it was her and Arena's plan. I know it was her and Arena's plan. Arena has said it. Me and Arena talks about it on, on the show and it wasn't aired. And I feel like that is why I get so upset about things with this show because it's not like, oh, y'all just showing me in a bad light because I do the shit I do. I say the shit I did. But there's a reason behind it. If I'm telling you you're taking someone's side who you knew was purposely coming to my house, but you looked in my face and was like, oh, so shocked that they were here. And then three days later, you told me you knew they were coming. What, what, what was the reason? What was the reason? Joy don't live nowhere near us, you know, the house that they were in is, is far, far, far away. In those two hours it took you to drive here, you should you didn't think to say, hey, I know I ignored your ass for the past two weeks, but I'm coming over your house. So, let's see. Her coming to your home and on as well. Her downplaying you guys' friendship makes me question. Hopefully you guys can fix it. Yeah, the Mean Girl narrative is definitely pushed. Um, I think in, I don't think she was downplaying our friendship. I think that production and the narrative being pushed downplayed it. As you've heard Arena say multiple times, like you hung out at my house, me telling you, y'all don't ever see that. Me telling Joy that Joy saying that today, like, I really fuck with you because you did and you're upset and that's fine to be upset, but let's have that conversation. And it took us three months to have that conversation because when I tried, when it happened, you didn't want to. And then other shit started spiraling out and now I shouldn't be have to have to. Uh, let's see. Everything going on in the cast. Uh, with everything going on in the cast, do you see yourself going to this event for May for Mother's Day? Um, initially, I said yes, I'll be there. Um, but I'm going to be honest. I don't. I don't practice. I don't rehearse. I don't have a script. I don't got amnesia. That is the issue I have with the other side of the cast. Like, let's just be honest for once. Let's be honest. Let's stop trying to be picture perfect patties because that shit is whack as fuck. If they don't want to be honest, I don't need to be there. They can sit and lie and have fabricated fairy tales without me. Um...
Let me see. My best friend confided in me about her depression, but I wasn't sure how to support her beyond reassurance. Do you have any advice for helping someone deal with depression? Just be there. You know, I think that that is the main thing, like just being there. You don't, you know, just checking up on them. A lot of times with it, depression just lives in your own head. And that person could just feel really low and sad. And it's just sometimes about just knowing you do have that support system. And do try to talk to them about certain things and support them in those ways. Well, there's no two weeks notice to get. We haven't been offered new contracts, so. Um, I can't speak for Winter, guys, about why she doesn't want to do these anymore. But like I said, it's been a lot. It's been a lot. And people knowing that certain things happened in December, in January, in February of 2023, and now in March 2024, I want to call people out for being liars for things that have, that have been addressed a year ago is really insane. And it's playing on y'all fucking intelligence as an audience, as viewers, and it's upsetting me and my homegirls. <laughs> and if y'all don't get that joke again, that means you're not my demographic. How oh, boring. I mean, I'm sure they'll they'll feed them some some lines or something to do if I'm not their child. Oh wait, I just scrolled by mistake. All right, I'm not gonna be on here long. I don't know what happened to Kamisha, but I invited you on here, girl. I don't understand. Yeah, the plotting. It was so much plotting and planning going on. Angela, can you make me another one? I have to put it here, but then I forgot. I was sorry, my love. Um, I don't really know how long she was out outside. I was upstairs finishing getting dressed. Um, when Raina came in, cried. So me and Raina talked for a little bit. And then I told her I was going to go talk to Quick. I really don't know how how long it was. I honestly thought Arena had went back out there to talk to her, not go downstairs and get her nails done and leave her friend outside in the car. So I don't know. So it might have been 30 minutes, child. How long did you know, Joy, before you told this big secret? Because if y'all had only been co-workers for a few months, it's different than a few years. Um, I found out they got married the day they got married. This is before we started filming. So, I mean, we hadn't known each other long. And again, I've said this, and I think that is what my gripe, my biggest gripe with tonight's episode is. In that scene, I said to Joy, you aren't mad, I told Alicia. And she said, I agree. She's mad that I said it while the cameras were rolling. And again, I explained to her, like I'm explaining to you guys, I'm on a reality show. So say that. Don't keep going around talking about you don't trust me, you don't whatever. No, you're upset because it's said on television, which again, is fine and understandable if that's your gripe, but you are not mad. I told Alicia, but they didn't play that. And that is my fucking gripe with the show. There's so much, just little things that add a little bit more context that you guys are missing out on. Um, that's right. It's not your business, but you know, couples and a bird just split in this past fall. That would make good TV. I honestly don't know that. I, I don't talk to these people at all. I hear rumors just like everybody else. But what I've also seen about them is that they just aren't honest about their relationship. So I'm sure they'll tell people everything was picture perfect. First year of marriage for anybody is hard. I'm going to tell you all that. When I got our first year of marriage, Child, I was running to my friend's house every other day. Like, I don't, I don't know if this what, what I what I signed up for. And I feel like had they really talked about their relationship and been honest, and we could have talked about those things because all of us, the rest of the cast, has have been through year one and two and ten of marriage. Um, but when you come on a reality show trying to depict a certain image and you want to give a certain story, whether it's true or not, this is what happens. You get shit that's 
drama that's drawn out and all of that. Yeah, I was trying to do this pump fake on IG. Y'all see it. Y'all see all on 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 Instagram. It's oh, we said this. We did this. Where's that? Where's that? Hmm. Where's that? Cause I ain't seen it. I ain't seen it at all. You should. Okay, we didn't talk about this. You should's conversation with Winter was a little hard to watch. She was clearly telling him she didn't feel supported, but his focus was not on her. And I think that that was the point. Um, I don't remember when I found out that you should call Joy. I didn't even know you should had Joy's phone number. But while we were filming, we did find out other stuff about you that he had, <laughs> which is already it's already an interview out about this. So this is not me telling anybody's business or anything that he had tried out for the season of uh, Ready to Love that Joy and Clifton were on and that apparently he said that the only person that he would have uh, been connected with was Joy or something like that. And then we found out that that was a lie. Child, these people are not, like there are very few people on the show who are them off camera. These people, y'all don't know these people. And, it's entertainment for y'all, but it is our real life that we have to deal with. I know. I see the comment. I'm not even going to put that one up there. But yes, apparently I, I heard that rumor too that some of our cast was living with other people. How dare you? See, these are the kind of comments I get, guys, about me being so mean. But then when I respond to this fake ass page or track down your IP address, I'll be wrong, right? Exactly. Like upsetting me and my homegirls. Literally. So wait, wait, where else? Um what what do you need me to confirm? If it's what you said earlier, I can't confirm who them people was living with. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't talk to them. After filming, I think March, like I said, 2023, I didn't see them again until I, we did our reunion last August. I don't see them people. Um, the petties, neither one of them I had ever heard of in this area before they were on Ready to Love. So I don't, I don't, I don't know them people. Yeah, I'm not going to play a role. Um, what I will say is, could I have handled some things better? Absolutely. Absolutely, I could have. Did I think that other people were being 100% on their screen time? I thought they were at least given 50%. So I understand how the audience can feel like they're missing something. Because you guys are. You're missing a huge chunk of the reality of what was going on. Um, I've really connected with you guys when your husband thought he had achalasia. I have it and it can be hard to deal with. I have to take meds for the rest of my life to prevent esophageal cancer. That was really a hard time. And I'm real, I mean, I'm gonna pray for you and I hope that it does not develop into that. But that was very scary. And I, you know, even with that, like people were making jokes like, oh, he's he, he got the hiccups, so what? Like people don't realize, like, right, it could have led to something like esophageal cancer. And Quick and I have both had cancer on both sides of our family. Quick's mother passed from cancer. His stepmother passed from, passed from cancer. I talked about this on the show, but people don't, it's not aired. My mom um, was diagnosed in 2017 with stage four cancer. And luckily she has been in remission for the past couple of years. Um, but that is really scary when you hear the big C word coming up. So I'm gonna pray for you girl. Yeah, they have a lot to say about me and my home that me and my husband own and our real marriage. And me and my husband are not a made-for-TV couple. Some people are. 
You know how back in the day, like in the 90s, it would be like infomercials and it was like, as seen on TV. So I call them like, they're the as seen on TV couple. Uh, texting from bloggers, are they cool? We don't believe you anymore. I don't, I don't know. I don't care what, what the Tylers are doing, honestly. It's not really even the Tylers, it's one half and it's not even the woman. Um, no, I don't feel like Yusha it was, thought Black was lying to have her back. I think Yusha, the honest to God truth is, guys, hand to the man, Yusha liked Joy, that's what it was. Again, like I said, I don't know how he got her number. That was very weird to me. I didn't even have Yusha's number. I think Quick might have it. Um, Yusha said what you guys didn't see is that he knows that Black wasn't cheating on his girlfriend with a, with Shirella. He just felt like Joy was upset about it, which, again, I could understand Joy having whatever feelings she had about the business part of it, if that's what you felt. None of us can tell you how you feel in the moment. Like, y'all can't tell me how I feel about your husband leaning into me. Um, whatever happened with him and her friend, her, the best, I don't know. She's named six best friends already. So I don't even know. And apparently this friend wasn't even her friend. She was somebody she actually met through. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Somebody she met through black. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Sharala has given me her story. Black has said the same exact story. And the difference is these people have been together, what, eight, nine years now? That shit ain't got nothing to do with you. Worry about your marriage or lack thereof. Do that. Um, have things gone south with the Tylers? Oh, things went south with me and the Tylers, again, with Jamie. Um, two days after we wrapped filming. We wrapped filming on a... I want to say like a Tuesday, Wednesday. End it. Great. See y'all. Love y'all. I'll talk to y'all soon. Because again, after season one, they will hang out with us. They will come over, all these other things. I woke up on a Thursday, Jamie going off on me and social media comments about the episode where I said I brought Joy on the show. And it's like, and it hasn't stopped since then. But they like to play innocent, like they haven't done anything. Um, Angela, who was like my child, Jamie called her my my maid and told her she would be homeless. And then I went the fuck off on him. And I was the problem. That you were calling someone who's the same age as your child, that you were so mad that you told us was bad and that we repeated it. But you can tell someone else that they'd be homeless and that they're my maid when you know that the fuck that's not true. But, you know, a lot of people pretend because a lot of people pretend well. Um, let's see. I usually don't block people, but you know what? We're going to block this person because I'm just annoyed. Let's see. Does anyone else want to be blocked? You can have your opinions, but like, let's base them on fact. And that's it. You're not mean. You just don't take no shit and see through the bull. I, like that's what it is. I do need therapy. You probably do too. I go to therapy all the time. You probably should go to therapy too. Um, what else? Yeah, guys. Sometimes you can't really like we we. The, the crazy thing is um, a lot of my cast members, I can't say a lot, but I do know one couple of my cast has fake pages that they love to go in and, and spew shit. It's not hard. They, like Anybody will tell you, I could find out something in 3.5 seconds. I ain't have to be a detective for that. I got 25 years of SVU under my belt. <laughs> I keep hitting this dab on comment thing and I can't see stuff. I love you too, guys. And I, I really appreciate everyone who has supported me and the show, especially those who are rocking with me. Like I said, with Fun Time Moms, with Super Gorge, with, if you guys were following Quick and I during the pandemic, when we used to do Quick and Ash After Dark, we are doing a live Quick and Ash After Dark coming up really soon. And I cannot wait for that. Why does Gustav have 
more energy for you, but he's quiet with the black issue. I'm happy you said that. The episode when we are at the house and we're sitting on the couch and I tell him, not, not right now, little boy. When I say that, it's played out of time frame. Him, black was talking to Joy and Black was had been waiting for months to be able to speak his piece on this him and Joy situation. And Black, we just let him go. It was like 30 minutes he was talking. As soon as I said, and, and Joy's husband sat there, never looked over at Black, never took his eye, never looked at none of us. As soon as I said one thing, this man turns around, rolls his eyes to me. And that's why I was like, not, not right now, little boy. Like, I don't feel like doing this with you. So when I say how I feel, I feel how I feel for a reason. Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, for the business situation, we don't get to tell nobody a time frame on that. There are people who fucked me over in business 20 years ago. I would never do business with them again. But if it comes to a personal situation that has absolutely nothing to do with me and both parties have moved on again, that have absolutely nothing to do with me, it has nothing to do with me. Also in that scene, which you guys don't see is she told Black his apology is too late. She told me my apology was too soon. It's like, girl, we, we don't know. Like, so on Joy's time is when somebody is supposed to apologize and step up. But like, then that's why I was like, no, I didn't even feel like dealing with this shit at that, at that. Make it seem like she doesn't mess with you as well as once. Arena said on her last live. But a week ago that she doesn't well um someone sent me a clip and she's called us hoes and skank hoes i think stank hoes i haven't heard that and anybody say that since like my grandma used to say shit like that um and she said we're dead to us so that's cool um yes i am a scorpio The fact that we get to understand you from this YouTube page is, I am really a cool person. My entire cast loved me, okay? Until I call out their bullshit. And even in the times outside of Joy and her husband, anybody else, we had a disagreement, we moved on, we hugged and moved on. So keep letting these people, these people, fake pump for TV or Instagram or social media or whatever else. That part, we all need therapy. We all need therapy. And I, I, I wish everyone could go get it. Um, therapy is very expensive. My therapist now, I can't even tell you how much I'm paying her an hour because I'm child, I'm like, somebody got to reel me back in. Somebody got to reel me back in because there are different Ashleys inside of me. And I say this all the time. There's Ashley Brittany, there's Ashley Silva. And then there's Ashley Butler. You guys have not gotten to see Ashley Butler yet. Thank God. She ain't nothing nice. Um, but we do all need therapy. But if you guys are looking for a therapist, uh, check out Better Health. They are they are really good. Better It's Better Health or Better Help. Quick Station was um, throwing promo for them. See, in comments like this, why can't y'all be friends for the sake of the show? Again, I signed up for a reality show. The prefix in that is real. Everyone doesn't need to get along. You look at any of these shows, Housewives, the difference between them is that, A, the men are not as incorporated. Our husbands are actual cast members the same way we are. Or well, Housewives, they're not, their husbands are not cast members. Um, but it's also seven, five to eight women. So it doesn't always seem like such a divide. Everyone does not get along in real life. We could we could coexist, but stop trying to force these fake ass friendships on people. Like that's annoying. Yes, quick and ask other dog. It was so fun. I miss it. And Instagram started hating on us and we couldn't play live music anymore. All right, I'm just gonna do like a few more questions. Um Yes, quick ash at the dark. Oh, Chloe, talk about it every week. Every week. Every week. At me. Hey, fam. 
child. But now they now they never knew us or never liked us or whatever the fuck they've been saying. All right. Every week. Um, all right, guys. I'm just going to answer. So you guys really don't, like I said, you guys really don't even... Social media has been the brunt of my issue with them. And at the reunion, um, again, I don't give a fuck. Send me a message. Send me a cease and desist. What the fuck you going to do? Arena shared a message that was apparently shared between Angela, who I said is like my fourth child, and her daughter. And Angela was upset and something about I have Angela scrubbing my floors and basically being a Cinderella. And I'm a drunk mother who doesn't take care of my children is what Arena said at our reunion. Girl, fuck you. I would never fuck with you after that. Never. Never. And then right in that same sentence, I said to her, you don't even believe it. And she said, I don't. So why the fuck would you say it? And those are the type of games that they like to play. I don't give a fuck about them. And that shit did piss me off because that's personal. Arena of all people and the shit she said now on the show. Oh, maybe Ashley feels abandoned by her mother. Of all my cast, Arena has been around my mother a lot. Arena hung out with my kids. Ashton really loved Arena. So for you to say some bullshit like that and then in the same breath say you don't think it's true. So why the fuck would you have said it? I've heard a lot of shit about y'all. A lot of shit about y'all that I've never fucking said. Shit that I know is fucking true. But I'm going to refrain. I'm going to refrain. I'm going to see this is why I don't do therapy. <laughs> Aren't you on Fatal Attraction? I was. I used to do Fatal Attraction and I used to do um, For My Man commentary years and years ago. So, I mean, again, like I've told people, a lot of people are like, well, what does she do? Oh, you're nobody. You're this. I've, I've, I've been working forever. Um... Melody from, yeah, Mel is a Scorpio too. I want to say her birthday is like a couple of days after mine's. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be honest, Ashley. Let's read this one. You come off with um, as a mean girl, but so does the other main females on the show. You're more vocal. They're sneaky. Only participates when she wants to. I mean, the mean girl shit, and, you know, I saw, saw people saying, like, oh, you, you're a self-proclaimed mean girl. What I said was, because apparently no one cares about actual facts and what's said. What I said was, you guys call me a mean girl. And when I said that, I'm mainly talking to the audience. I say funny shit. I say shady shit. I say sarcastic shit. If you cannot handle it, that's fine. I said episode one, season one, I am not for everybody. And that is cool. Because he is a mean girl. That's why. I apologize to her, but her husband had been doing shit to try to intimidate me. And she knows that. And hopefully they leave that in the reunion. But, you know, maybe they won't. Because, you know, Ashley's, Ashley's a bad guy. Yes, at me. Every week. Every week was begging to be on um, Man Quick's Live. Now these people, they, they so famous. So... Are you friendly? Are you friendly with oh so um the closest person outside of our show from another own show that I is Latrice. Actually, she and I text very often. She's been over here, we've hung out, we've been on vacation. She's from Bell Collective. That's my girl. Um Stormy, I really like from Huntsville. I've met Mel. Um, I've met Letitia and her husband from Huntsville. Um, but people who I have, a, a, the closest relationship is Latrice um, from Bell Collective. I love her down. That's my baby.
Yeah, apparently I've gotten blamed for the for Terry's not a psychic. She's an intuitive healer. I got blamed for Terry coming. I didn't know that Terry was coming to tell us invited her. And I'm like, how the fuck is this my fault? People are weird. People are weird. Yeah, I just I just let a little bit of Ashley Butler sneak out, child. I got to She's she's child. I've been trying to tuck her away for the past 15 years and keep her hidden. So um I just addressed this. At reunion, she came in like a, a little chihuahua, protected joy as usual, shit that again has nothing to do with her. And then um you know, Jamie, like it's just it's, it's child. It's it's exhausting at this point. We're not friends. We don't have to be. We probably won't be. I don't respect them. So they pretend, but they. All right, guys, because a lot of these are kind of the same thing. And you know, apparently, my cast feels like. Oh, you talk about us. And it's like, well, yeah, we're on an ensemble show and people ask questions that I have to answer. So the same way you talk about me in your interviews. But child, apparently they're supposed to be off limits, but they can say whatever the fuck they want to say and, and cry. So apparently me and Winter both were lying. What I will say on this topic, you can go back and watch the live. What Winter told me, Arena also told me. So I don't know where this whole lion thing has come in for it, come into. And like I said, this was going on while we were filming and they should have addressed it on the show again, instead of trying to act like perfect patties. That is my issue with it. Um, Monique, I haven't talked to Monique in a while. I talked to her right after the divorce. Um, we've seen... Chris Moore, actually, Chris came over on my birthday and then he hung out with us for New Year's. And I know sometimes he hangs out with like some of the other guys and like he'd go like go to quick for a club. Um, that's it. All right, guys, never mess with them. Mm, nobody knew them at all before the show. I mean, besides the people that go, to, you know, the 200 people that go to their parties. Um, I don't watch Merit's Medicine. I so I don't know a lot about their show for me to do um to do a recap with them. And I don't know if she watches our show either. So I don't really know if that would make sense. I don't know her. All right. So I think everything else is kind of like repeating itself. So next week, if you guys want to come on and join and ask questions, I told you I would let allow you to. To do that, Birdo is right here. He's tired, and my pizza is cold, guys. So, good night again. Thank you for joining us. Um, stay tuned to my. If you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, Ashley Brittany. Um, Twitter. Again, I'm trying very hard. Can we throw a Christmas Eve party for the public? Christmas Eve Eve is my day. Like it is my day, and it's another reason why I was really upset. It is my favorite day of the year. It's more important to me than my birthday. Like it is a day I just want my family and friends to have a really good time. We've been doing it since Smoo was the year Smoo was born. So this this year now will be our 17th one. Um, the only time we didn't do it was in 2000. I mean, 2000 in 2020 when COVID and then 2021, we had it a little smaller and then we're back and bullshit happens. So. We have done a Christmas party, like a big Christmas party before, especially like a charity event. So I know we'll be throwing one this year. So you guys can come. Yes. Okay. Last one. Do you think, okay, I've already kind of did this. How do you feel about seeing the girls? I've already kind of answered this, but I'm, I'm a hundred percent fine with it. And like I said, I'm going to be honest and be myself and, I can't say the same for anything else, but I'm about to watch TV guys and I have some writing to do. And I have an audition coming up that I need to, you know, go practice my lines and learn my lines. So I love you guys. Follow me 
Ashley Brittany Instagram. Um, Fun Time Moms may be coming back soon, but I kind of want to add some more hosts to it. So we'll see. All right. Bye, guys. I'll talk to y'all later.